Okay, according to the schematic, the firing pin side of this coupler needs to be bored out to 12.5 millimetres, but I'm actually going to go 12 to begin with because I can always open it up a bit later on. So I'm going to spot it with a centre drill, go through with a 6 to pilot it, and then clear out most of the, of the bore with a 10 mil, and then finally come in with a, a 12 mil slot drill to take that right away down, and then uh, we'll test that and then take the other side out 17 to account for the anvil. So we'll get started with just boring it through. Just to finish it off, I'm just going to just take the edge off. I'll do. Final stage on this coupler. Uh, Needs to be 17 mil diameter on here and about 10 mil deep so that that drops in. Uh, so we'll take that 14 mil with a slot drill and then bore out the rest, and that should be that one done. Seventeen point oh six, so that should drop in. Close fraction. Yeah, measure twice, cut once. It's actually seventeen millimeters deep, not not ten. Uh, but that fits in there quite nice. I've also put a very slight uh, chamfer on the edge there, and likewise on this tip. So. That should find its way in. I can always uh, increase that chamfer on the corner because it's the central section where the pin is going to bite. It shouldn't be uh, a problem putting that on there, a little radius. So anyway, that's that bit done. Uh, I've also had a quick go at this spring and I found that with a couple of pairs of pliers I was actually able to bend this in slightly at either end. And if you look on the original, if I quickly whip that apart, they have actually got a slight tapering on the spring here. So. Minor details, but uh, by tapering that down so it just fits there, I'm not getting it going inside. And also, it tends to hold it at a slight angle, which is good because I want it to start at a slight angle. So, next thing, let's pop it all together and see how far off we are. Now that bit goes in there. There we go. That bit couples on there like that. Well, actually, let's just have a look on the inside before I screw that bit together. So, yeah, I don't know if that can be seen on camera, but that's leaning to one side, and when I push down, that straightens up nicely when. Yep, yeah, that's working. Right, so, quick test. Moment of truth. And that should drop down there. Okay, that feels all right. So let's put the, the main spring in. I'll have to hold this by hand. But give that a bit of pressure and see if this thing fires. Ooh, crikey. Ooh. Okay, something's not right. Okay, something's not engaging. 
Right, let's have a look. Actually, what I could do... God, this makes a bit of screw. What I could do... Is put this sleeve over it, just so that I can see what's going on. And then drop that in there. And see... Yeah, okay. Well, it should work. Let's try it again. Maybe those corner radiuses just need to be increased slightly. And with the spring. Nope. Right, hang on. After a bit of playing around and an all-important mug of coffee, I think the problem basically is this pin does not properly align. It does when there's no pressure on it, but as soon as you've got the back pressure from the spring, this uh, firing pin tends to lean slightly. So I've tried cutting a slight taper on it to give it better alignment. I did try that with this prototype version, but it just caused the pin to jam. But uh, the return spring on this is a little bit stronger, so I think that won't be a problem. And if I'm still getting an issue, what I'll do is just bore that down slightly so that it fits inside that sleeve. Uh, and that should perfectly straighten it up when it gets to that point, but it's a little bit of a, a trade-off. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's put it back together. Uh, that's my return spring, and that goes on that end. That drops in there. So I put my slightly modified coupler on. Add firing barrel. Come on, there we go. Drop the anvil down. Also I discovered there's a bit of a Yeah, it's a bit tight, so there's a bit of a vacuum effect going on there. Right, let's see if this will fire. No. Oh, there we go. More pressure on the spring. Okay, that needs a lot of pressure on the spring. So, at least that is now working. Uh, my hands are filthy, but I'll cut the spring down to size and actually screw it in uh, and that will give us a much better idea of how far off we are. But I might need to make one or two more adjustments, but uh, I'll cut that spring and we'll see. Let's see if this will cut it gently. Okay, here is the moment of truth. That seems to fit. Everything's tight. Here we go. Oh, oh it does work. Oh, it's just me. Well, it's hard work. Oh, I'm going to dare put my fingers under that. Well, it broke the wood. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, yeah. Right. Now what? <laughs> 